Today we're going to be learning how to factor quadratic equations. It doesn't take too long for us to realize that some trinomials can be factored. There is a specific way to do this, so let's go through that together. So we've got this equation right here. The first step in factoring this is to think of all the factors of the constant in the equation, which in this case is 12. If you don't know how to get factors of a number, then we encourage you to watch our intro to factoring video before continuing. All right, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 as our factors of 12. Good. Now, from these factors, the most important question to be asking for factoring a quadratic equation is this. Which two factors, when multiplied together, would result in this number, and when added together, would result in this one, assuming i and j are factors? Well, if we try 1 times 12, we get 12, which works, but when added together, it equals 13 not 7, so that combination's out the window. Also, if we added 1 and 6 together, we would get 7, which works for here, but when multiplied gives us 6, so that doesn't work either. But when we try 3 times 4, we get 12, and when we add 3 and 4 together, we get 7. So, there it is. We know that we can use these two numbers to factor this equation to be y equals x plus 3 times x plus 4. And if you want to make sure that this is the right answer, all you need to do is expand it again and you'll see that you'd get the exact same equation that you started with if the answer was correct. Great, now let's try another example. In this example, we're looking at factors of negative 10 that would add up to equal negative 3. Now, let's think about this for a second. If two numbers multiply together to get a negative number, then it must be a negative number and a positive number. Certainly not a negative number and a negative number, or a positive number and a positive number, since in both cases, we'd get a positive number. So let's list out the possible factors of negative 10. We've got 1, 2, 5, 10, and each of these can potentially be negative. Great! So we can try our first combination with negative 1 and 10, which would give us negative 10 when multiplied, and that would work, but positive 9 when added. So that's mm -hmm. wrong. Now if we try 1 and negative 10 instead, that would give us negative 10 when multiplied, which works again, but negative 9 when added. So that's wrong too. Let's try negative 2 and 5. Multiplying them would give us negative 10, which again works, but positive 3 when added. This is close, but it's still wrong. However, if we try 2 and negative 5 instead, we would get negative 10 when multiplied and negative 3 when added, and there we go. It looks like these are our factors, and our answer would be y equals x plus 2 times x minus 5. Awesome! Now, before we end this video, it's important to note that not all quadratic expressions of the form ax squared plus bx plus c can be factored since the roots are not always rational numbers that we can find out simply by factoring. But be sure to check out the next lesson where we will learn how to factor quadratic expressions that have an a that isn't 1, since some quadratic equations will have a number in front of the first variable, like this one right here. Awesome! So that's the end of this lesson. We hope you try some questions out to get used to the factoring process for quadratic equations, and we will see you in the next one.